Hello everyone, Detlef here and back for another LCC channel program. No, I have not fallen off the end of the world and yes, I'm very much still into LCC. Uh, just has been a very busy year and been working on other aspects of the layout. Anyway, I want to do a really quick video today. I was able to get a, uh, a sample of the TCS CS105 control station and of note over here is the LCC interface on it. So I wanted to do a quick demo. I, I know there's a lot of videos out there about the CS105 and I'll let you go to those for talking about the features and so on. But I wanted to mostly focus in on the LCC functionality of it. See if it focuses there. But it's um, this is LCC compatible and it's already set up for that. Um, first of all, of note is that it's just like any other LCC device. It has an input and an output. Um, basically, it, it could be just another node on your network, on an LCC network. So just like anything else, it just has an input and output or part of the daisy chain. Um, it also has a power sourcing capability. It will put out 400 milliamps on each of these ports. So you can do a total of 800 milliamps. 400 on each side. Wow. There's some flashing lights and so on that tells you the status, but mechanically that's it. That's all it takes to connect this into your LCC network just like any other node. Hmm. Okay. What I'd like to do now also <laughs> is then plug it in. I've got my test set up uh, behind me here and I'm going to go ahead and plug it into that network and then we're going to go take a look and see what it sh how it shows up or what it looks like on the LCC network. Transfer complete. Okay, so I've plugged in the TCS-105 into the LCC network over there and it is um, in fact since it has a power source I went ahead and just disconnected the PowerPoint the RR circuits PowerPoint so it's actually powering up this whole little test setup here on top of the, the cabinet there. Wow. On the screen you'll see that we've got our panel pro so I'm gonna go ahead and open up LCC and configure nodes and you'll see that the TCS CS105 command station shows up as just another node. Now when I open up just like any other LCC node I can open up my configuration dialog and start taking a look at it. It's actually opening up on the other screen here so let's take a look at it over here. Alright, um, like any other LCC device it's broken into different segments. First part talks about the uh, identification of the unit, the CS105, what hardware version, what software version. Kind of nice to have that. By the way, I think this is really a great idea, but you know, any kind of control system to be able to just to get in there and take a look at it, um, I think it's pretty cool. Wow. Um, you can give it a name. I'm just going to leave it as a default, but here's your TCS CS105 with a technical name and some sort of a description, TCS command station. Now we get into the system settings. Again, something very cool here. You can actually configure the different user configurable items for the command station right from this window. So you got your booster trip current, inrush delay, uh, kind of nice, uh, especially for sound decoders so that it delays a little bit before those uh, decoders get charged up so it doesn't shut it down. Booster kill current, kill delay, fault, see what else do we have it'll send an event if there's a fault be kind of nice you can pop it up on your screen and understand what's uh, what's going on there has a fast clock mode you can go ahead and it can be a master generator or a slave it can be a consumer or a, a producer they call it a generator here um, clock ID I guess you could give it its there you go give you some choices here as a default or alternate clock or whatever Startup time settings, so what do you want the clock to start up as? And will it be running or stopped when it starts? Here's your initial time. You can put it on a date. Some advanced options. Um, it does work with Railcom. Not very familiar with that, so let others play around with that. Uh, let's see. Drive DCC locomotives. Looks like something to dig into. I don't know what those do. Drive boosters over LCC. That's kind of a neat feature. If you have multiple boosters, you can use the LCC, not the DCC bus, uh, cab bus, but you can go over LCC. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I saw that TCS is also offering boosters with their system, and those are LCC connected. 
and then some ox calves. All right, so that is that segment. Let's take a look at the next one, Wi-Fi settings. Not too surprising, but you can make the Wi-Fi access point. Now keep in mind the um, TCS-105 can only handle up, like, up to like, I think, four wireless devices. It's not really a router, but it can become part of uh, one of the connected devices to a real, you know, fully blown router. So you might want to think about if you had a layout with a lot of Wi-Fi devices, you could go ahead and put a Wi-Fi router there, and then the TCS-105 would communicate to that router as one of its um, daughters. I don't know what the right term is. Sorry about that. I'll find out what it is. Um, additional network names, save networks, uplink connection information, pretty standard stuff there I think for Wi-Fi connections. Macros, have, haven't played with this too much but apparently there are macros that can be loaded in there. For instance if you had a uh, let's say a particular signal um, come in and you want a bunch of switches thrown for a yard throat or whatever you could have this create some macros for you. I wonder if you could also play with this to maybe start and stop a trolley or something like that on a separate piece of track. Um, I, you know, I, I, I think that would be something that would be very cool. Again, I haven't played with it, just kind of scrolling through the different features. Hmm. Okay. So that's your macros. <laughs> and what's the last one here? Status. And so this gives out certain statuses on your LCC network so you can confirm things like, you know, what's the track voltage at the moment, what's your output current at the moment, what's the temperature of the thing, and so on. I love it! So kind of scrolling through here, Wi-Fi IP address you can adjust, uplink address, a bunch of amount of free memory, and the date. It looks like they included a sensor turnout creation tool, very much like the other um, are our circuit products that we have seen in previous videos. So there you have it. A little bit of an introduction to the TCS CS 105. Have a great day, everyone.